Hello, trading is closed on September 20th, 2016. Yesterday I said the commonest occurrence was a gap opening and a prompt trade outside of the day's range, and the next most common was that we closed a little change. Well, we gapped up. We didn't trade outside of the day's range. Next most common is closed a little change. We closed up less than two-thirds of a point. So we got the second most common occurrence. During the day, Me JT said this was a false rally and that after this time, prices would return to this line, which they did. There's support under the target, so we closed at the Me JT support level. Today's patterns a carbon copy of yesterday's, gapping up, hitting new highs, can't hold them, but also can't close under the middle of the day low. Significantly, we couldn't close under yesterday's lows either even after dropping all day long. The same thing should apply. The commonest thing is to quickly trade outside of the day's range, and the next most common is to close little change. I don't recall any little changed closes on uh, the day when the FOMC made it its, it makes its announcement, so I think tomorrow should see a pretty big move. We have a wall of selling into the close. Typically, this says that the public says, get me out at any price. Usually, it's met by gapping up sharply when we reopen tomorrow. Here's our 15-minute chart. We said yesterday that to confirm the um, sell signal, we had to take out the close of number 8. You can see that despite many efforts. We were unable to do it. Here's your 78-minute chart. We have bar 13 of a sequential buy with the lowest of 13 countdown bars being number 2. If the signal works, we should get a strong rally. I think there's always risk involved in trading when the Fed makes its announcement. You can get some wild moves depending on what they say, but tomorrow's daily pattern has a strong tendency to trade higher all day and close near the high. We have a buy signal from um, the DeMarc indicators in the 78 minute chart. You'll recall a week and a half ago when we had the collapse. I said there were volume indicated by signals at that time. So far, those lows have held. We have a wall of selling. I think there's a very good chance of gapping up sharply at the open, promptly taking out today's high and rallying all day long. If the call fails, it should be obvious before the open. And anyone who stays with it over the time of the Fed announcement should be prepared for some Big whipsaws, and that's today's call.